Chow Chow. The Chow Chow is a dog breed originally from northern China, where it is referred to as Song Shaquan, which means puffy lion dog. The breed has also been called the Tang Quan, dog of the Tang Empire. It is believed that the Chow Chow is one of the native dogs used as the model for the Fu Dog, the traditional stone guardians found in front of Buddhist temples and palaces. The Chow Chow has been identified as a basal breed that predates the emergence of the modern breeds in the 19th century. One writer has proposed that the Chow Chow originated in China 2,000 years ago or originated in Arctic Asia 3,000 years ago and then migrated to Mongolia, Siberia, and then to China. One Chinese legend mentions large war dogs from Central Asia that resembled black tongued lions. One Chinese ruler was said to own 5,000 Chows. The Chinese also used Chows to pull dog sleds and this was remarked upon by Marco Polo. The Chow Chow was also bred for human consumption. A legend says that the original teddy bears were modeled after Queen Victoria's Chow Chow puppy. It's said that she carried the dog everywhere she went. Her friends disapproved, claiming that it did not befit a queen to be seen everywhere with a dog, so they paid a dressmaker to make a stuffed version of the animal for her. Today, the AKC registers approximately 10,000 Chow Chows a year. The Canadian Kennel Club registers approximately 350. The Chow Chow is a sturdily built dog, square in profile, with a broad skull and small, triangular, erect ears with rounded tips. The breed is known for a very dense double coat that is either smooth or rough. The fur is particularly thick in the neck area, giving it a distinctive rough or manny appearance. The coat may be shaded slash self-red, black, blue, cinnamon slash fawn. Or cream. Not all these color varieties are recognized as valid in all countries. Individuals with patchy or multicolored coats are considered to be outside the breed standard. Chow Chow eyes are typically deep set and almond shaped. The breed is distinguished by its unusual blue black slash purple tongue and very straight hind legs, resulting in a rather stilted gait. The bluish color extends to the Chow Chow's lips. This is the only dog breed with this distinctive bluish color in its lips and oral cavity. One other distinctive feature is the curly tail. It is thick hair and lies curled on its back. The nose should be black, but blue coated Chow Chow can have a solid blue or slate colored nose. According to the American Kennel Club breed standards, any other tone is not acceptable for contests. FCI countries, however, do allow a self colored nose in the cream. The blue black slash purple tongue gene appears to be dominant, as most mixed breed dogs that come from a Chow Chow retain that tongue color. However, the blue black slash purple tongue can also be found on the sharp hay. This is not to say that every mixed breed dog with spots of purple on the tongue is descended from Chow Chow, as purple spots on the tongue can be found on other purebred dogs. Most commonly kept as pets, Chow Chows tend to display discernment of strangers and can become fiercely protective of their owners and property. The American Kennel Club standards, however, consider an all too aggressive or all too timid Chow Chow to be unacceptable. For that reason, some owners have attributed a cat-like personality to the Chow Chow. Chow Chow are not excessively active, meaning that they can be housed in an apartment. However, a Chow Chow living in an apartment will need daily exercise to prevent restlessness and boredom. Upon realizing that exercise is a daily occurrence, Chow Chow will tend to be more assertive with owners in anticipation of such activities. This breed of dog has many strong loyal bonds with friends and family. But the Chow Chow dog is usually overly protective of one or two main family members. It is in the breed's nature to be quiet and well behaved, but it is also resistant to training. Chow Chows become very stubborn and attached to certain individuals as they age. This is why training them when they are puppies is so crucial because they gain respect for those who care for them. In order to avoid aggression and overprotectiveness as an adult, Continuous socialization as early as possible could allow the dog to adjust. When Chow Chows have reached adolescence, they reject authority from any other owner who failed to earn its admiration. Aggression can be one distinctive behavioral characteristic in this breed, though while some are of an aggressive nature, many are known to be easygoing in nature, sometimes adopting an aloof disposition to individuals other than their owners. Aggression when it does appear is often towards other dogs of thesame sex, especially Chows. Due to their strong hunting instincts, it is recommended that these dogs stay fenced, leashed, and away from cats and small dogs. This is why it is crucial that they are socialized early and consistently in order to act appropriately with strangers. At first, Chow Chows are very hesitant in interacting with strangers. However, this problem can be avoided if the owners train the Chow Chow at a young age.
Ch Owning a chow chow can raise the cost of homeowners insurance because some companies consider them high risk ducks. In a study in the Journal of the American Veterinary Medical Association, chow chow were responsible for 8 out of 238 fatalities related to dog bites from 1979 to 1998. The chow chow can suffer from entropion, glaucoma, juvenile cataracts, lymphoma, hip dysplasia, diabetes mellitus, canine pemphigus, and gastric cancer. Chow chows are a high-risk breed for autoimmune disease and are at a predisposition for skin melanoma. Due to the chow chow's thick coat, fleas can be a problem. Conrad Lawrence, an Austrian zoologist, ethologist, and ornithologist, winner of the 1973 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine who is often regarded as one of founders of modern ethology, had a chow chow mix named Stasi. He wrote about his dogs in his book King Solomon's Ring. Sigmund Freud had a chow chow named Joe Fire who attended all of his therapy sessions because he felt that dogs had a special sense that allows them to judge a person's character accurately, and admitted he depended on Joe Fire for an assessment of a patient's mental state. U.S. Navy Admiral George Dewey acquired a chow chow in Hong Kong in 1898 and named it Bob. Bob rarely left the Admiral's side and had the run of the cruiser. Bob died in 1899 due to eating chocolates given to Dewey by well-wishers upon Olympia's arrival in New York City. Martha Stewart owned several chows, which are frequently seen on Martha's shows. One of them is named Genghis Khan. President Calvin Coolidge and his wife owned a black chow named Timmy. Elvis Presley and his girlfriend Linda Thompson had a chow chow named Getlo. Vanabanta has a cream chow chow named Sky, a blue chow chow named Seraph, and a red chow chow named Beowulf who was immortalized as a fictional dog in the book Flight. Janet Jackson had a chow chow named Buckwheat. Italian footballer Mario Balotelli bought his girlfriend two chow chow puppies in the UK. Chow breed will heavily shed their fur in the seasons of spring and fall, which requires more grooming attention than other seasons. It is important that owners use the correct tool in order to avoid harming the skin and facilitate grooming. Three kinds of brushes that owners can use on their chow chow are a medium coarse brush for the larger parts of the body, a slick brush for smaller areas, and a pin brush to maintain the longer strands of hair. Chow chows are known to have either short and smooth coat, or a rougher and longer coat. Both create a thick woolly layer, as it gets closer to the skin. They should be brushed four times a week, however, shedding seasons may require daily grooming. Also, a spray conditioner can help avoiding breakage and tearing to the thick coat of hair. Lastly, a monthly bath is required to avoid fleas and keep a clean coat of fur. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.